Hey guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to share with you guys my Trader Joe's haul. I'm just going to share with you guys what I picked up for this week. Um, it's kind of a crazy weekend. My sister got married. It was so much fun, but it was like really hectic last week. We had a lot going on prepping for the wedding. So I woke up this morning and realized we didn't have a single egg or milk or literally anything. So after I took my daughter to school, I just quick ran to Trader Joe's. It's about, I'd say 15 minutes from our house, but it's, it's really like not that bad. 15, 20 minutes. Um, it's definitely worth it. So for everything that I bought, it was $150, which I don't think was bad. It's definitely enough stuff. Um, and I actually picked up some meat there too, which I don't normally um, purchase from Trader Joe's, but I figured I would try it. I'm really excited. I love all their stuff. And I did pick up a few things from Target, just like seasonal things that I want to have on hand. Um, not anything healthy in the least, but I figured it is the season. It's literally so hot out. I'm sweating. My dog is running around like crazy. I don't know what's going on with him. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Okay guys, so let's go through everything that I picked up at Trader Joe's and Target. So the first thing I want to share with you is this super cute little gingerbread house. We picked this up at Trader Joe's. My daughter's going to decorate that for Halloween, obviously, so that was adorable. So next up, we got some dog treats. I just picked up these for my dog. Um, just some fall-themed candy. Obviously, none of this is healthy, but this is kind of a once-in-a-while treat. Some Funfetti cupcakes, um, icing. I normally make homemade ones, but I just sometimes love a Funfetti cupcake. Um, I'm going to try out this Illy Espresso. I'm on the hunt for a good espresso blend. Um, I do have this Breville, but I haven't found like a good roast or bean. I don't know what you want to call it. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. Um, right now I just have the Starbucks one, which is fine, but it's definitely not my favorite. I needed some fabric softener. I picked up more of this Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner and apple cider and the matching dish soap. I absolutely love that. I ordered, no, actually I picked up all of that from Target. It was on sale this week. Some Trivia, some shelled edamame, which I love to snack on. These are really good. And this was in the refrigerated section. I also have some freezer ones. I also picked up this salad, which I'm going to try. It looked pretty good. And I needed just something quick for lunch. Next is arugula and parmigiano ravioli. This looked yummy, so I figured we'd use that. I have some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. That's my favorite. I also got regular milk, but that's already in the fridge, the organic regular milk. We did unsweetened applesauce, some Mexican cheese, some cheese sticks, and some shredded mozzarella, which we were totally out of cheese. I picked up some active dry yeast. I'm going to make some bread, some smoked salmon. These hash browns were a huge hit. My husband absolutely loved those, and they were actually really good. Mushroom risotto, which my mom tried, and she also loved that, so I'm going to make that again. This is just such a quick and easy lunchtime thing that you can make. It takes like five minutes, or you can add chicken to it, or you can even just use it as a side dish, and it's so good. We got two dozen large brown eggs. I'm going to try these Mahi Mahi burgers. They kind of like caught my eye, and there's only 110 calories in one patty, so I think that might be something yummy to try. I got some little smoothies, organic smoothies for my daughter. Some pumpkin bread mix. This was really good, and I made it with applesauce instead of oil and added some chocolate chips, and everybody seemed to really love this muffin um, bread mix. So I picked up two more of those. These Halloween JoJo's cookies, they're so cute, and they were really good. Pumpkin cream cheese, we're like on a total pumpkin kick. Some low-fat cottage cheese, which I love with pineapple. I picked up some turkey burgers, carrots, mini cucumbers, which I love with hummus, a spaghetti squash, pita bite crackers, tomato sauce, great northern beans, organic split pea soup, butternut squash soup. This only has 90 calories for one cup, so I thought that would be good to try. We got some all-natural chicken, some turkey. I already dug into the popcorn. It's my favorite. White cheddar puffs, my favorite pita chips. I also already had an apple. <laughs> um, my husband loves this mango and so does my daughter. So I picked up four bags of those because they're normally out of it. Some potatoes, chocolate chips, 100% whole wheat bagel slims. They're only 110 calories for one little bagel. 
And then I got some multi-grain bread for my daughter. We got bananas and an onion. So tonight I'm going to show you guys I'm making 99% fat-free ground turkey breast chili. I'm going to use the turkey, the great northern beans. I'm going to have some garbanzo beans in there and two cans of tomato sauce and some chili mix. So we're going to throw that together in this pot right here. And I will show you guys that now because I'm going to start that while I put on put away the rest of the food. Okay guys, so here's the finished taco slash chili. It looks really good. I just have it in a super cute little bowl from West Elm. If I can find it, I'll link it below. And my daughter's finished gingerbread house looks super cute and festive. And while I'm just here anyway, the, this was one of the arrangements at my sister's wedding. It's just absolutely stunning. It is probably like three days old now, um, but it just looks so beautiful. And Beautiful Blooms did these. Um, actually one of my friends from high school, her name is Jess, she's amazing. She works there. I will leave her info down below if she's on Instagram. If you guys are in the Philly, New Jersey, uh, PA, obviously, area, you need to check them out. They did a phenomenal job and all of the flowers were absolutely stunning. So like I was saying, we all got to take some centerpieces home. I'm obsessed. Kelsey's bouquet was absolutely beautiful. I'll insert some pictures if I can find them, but all of the centerpieces looked amazing. So I just figured I would let you guys know who did her floral arrangements. Um, Jess is fab, so you should check her out if you need a florist. All right, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit later.